what is going on guys so i've been using ios 14 public beta for exactly one month now and <laughs> it, it hasn't been the smoothest ride ever i'm not gonna lie but i noticed a lot of improvements and a lot of faults that will need to be fixed with the official release so i'm gonna get into that and let you guys know what the biggest issues are with this uh public beta So the first thing I'd like to emphasize on is actually a positive thing about iOS 14 public beta, and it's Siri. Siri has seen insane improvements with the way she understands you, uh, the way she can respond to, hey Siri, um, she responds a lot easier now. You don't have to repeat yourself or anything like that. Uh, she understands you so much better, and it's a lot more responsive. And the UI, the minimalistic UI, is amazing, and it's really, really delayed like we should have had that kind of interface a long time ago with Siri now let's get to the good stuff so these are my main problems with iOS 14 public beta so from what I've seen uh, and from my experience there's a big problem with overheating with this public beta uh, my phone gets really really hot and I have a case on and I still feel the heat through the case and I don't think the case actually helps it's probably making the issue worse but uh, overheating is huge with this software and I am not sure why that is I think it's because um, there's a bit of a uh, higher need for performance with this software but another thing that I've noticed is maps I can't get my phone to pinpoint my location for the life of me it just doesn't know where I am ever and it's really annoying uh, the next thing I notice is performance, which probably goes hand in hand with overheating, but there's extreme lag occasionally, and it might just be the overheated CPU, but I find that it the phone lags out a lot, like it gets really, really slow, like iPhone 5 slow, and then occasionally when that kind of lag wave occurs, it'll respring. And for those of you who don't know, a respring is a very, very quick restart. It takes around 10 seconds rather than restarting the whole phone, which takes anywhere from 40 seconds to a minute. Um, those are my main issues with this software. Aside from those issues, I am loving iOS 14 public beta. Um, and I want you guys to let me know if you're loving it too. So if you have iOS 14 public beta downloaded, uh, let me know which phone you have and let me know what kind of issues you're experiencing and what your favorite feature is about this public beta. My favorite feature, and this isn't even a feature, as I said before, it's the Siri improvements. For me, that's a game changer. Anyway, guys, please leave a like, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Thank you for watching.